This article presents categorical improvements in global disease severity categories using data pooled from four randomized trials of velazodone versus placebo in adults with major depressive disorder, or MDD. Summary scores from multi-item measures, such as the Montgomery Osberg Depression Rating Scale, or MADRAS, and the Hamilton Depression Rating Scale, or HAMD, are typically used to evaluate efficacy in MDD clinical trials. In clinical settings, however, the single-item Clinical Global Impression of Severity, or CGIS, may be a more convenient tool for monitoring patient progress. In four MDD trials, treatment with velazodone versus placebo resulted in a significantly greater mean improvement in CGIS score. A post hoc analysis of these studies was conducted to evaluate whether shifting from more severe to less severe CGIS score categories might provide a more intuitive and clinically meaningful approach to evaluating antidepressant effects in adults with MDD. The four velazodone trials included adults with MDD who were randomized to receive 8 or 10 weeks of double blind treatment with velazodone 20 to 40 milligrams per day or placebo. CGIS was included as an additional efficacy measure in all of these studies. For the post hoc analysis presented in this article, shifts in CGIS scores were analyzed using three separate criteria. One, severely ill or worse, to mildly ill or better. Two, markedly ill or worse, to borderline ill or normal. And three, moderately ill or worse, to borderline ill or normal. In the pooled study population, demographics were similar between treatment groups within each baseline CGIS score category. However, a smaller proportion of patients in the placebo group were severely ill at baseline, and among these, a high percentage were women. On average, 77% of patients had recurrent major depressive disorder episodes, and, as expected, patients with higher CGIS scores also had a higher MADRAS total score at baseline. The percentage of patients who improved from more severe to less severe CGIS scores was higher with velazodone than with placebo. Statistical significance for velazodone versus placebo was found in patients who shifted from markedly ill or worse, or from moderately ill or worse at baseline, to borderline ill or normal after treatment. However, the largest treatment effect was found in patients who shifted from severely ill or worse at baseline to mildly ill or better after treatment. The result was not statistically significant in this group, probably due to the small sample size. In summary, a greater proportion of patients improved depressive symptoms with velazodone treatment compared to placebo. These results may have greater intuitive meaning for clinicians than the usual comparison of mean changes in depressive symptom summary scores.